Hello everybody and welcome back to Matrix Solutions. Today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review on our newest CAD that will be released tonight actually. It is going to be our Paradox CAD version 4. Um, we have gone from version 1 to version 2 to version 3 to version 4 and I personally am going to see myself version 4 has turned out amazing, has many more options than version 3 and it has a whole new layout and design for the dispatch, police, and fire MDT and CAD. Uh, our Paradox V4 CAD is going to be $10 monthly front end for the basic, which does not come with the premium plugins or additions, does not come with free bots and integration. Front end premium will be $15 monthly. Note these prices might differ on the time you see this video and the time you order. V5 is going to be our, our final CAD. V5 won't be, if you're wanting to buy one but you don't wanna have to pay to upgrade after you get one like a month ahead, don't worry, V5 most likely won't be out for four to five months. So, and you can upgrade from V4 to V5 if you would like for a small fee depending on the price of V5. <clears throat> Paradox CAD version 4 will be $80 backend one time and reseller $200 USD one time. This is a lot. We do not want many companies selling this, if any. We want to limit that as much as possible. And if we do have other companies selling it uh, or buying reseller, we want to make sure that we're at least getting some of the profit if they were to sell $250 worth of it, they'd make $50 profit, plus get an Epic Cat as we would still get the $200. We want to make sure we're still profiting it while giving a reseller. That's why it's such a high price. 80 backend. We don't really want to give backend. That's why it's really high, but that is definitely more on the reasonable side for a backend cat with this many options. Premium does come with bots and integration or the premium features. The premium features are what has premium in bold beside it. I'm going to go down the features and offers this CAD has. It has unlimited departments. It has two staff panels. It has a staff panel for the overall website, including the application, about us, uh, schedule, those types of things, overall for the community. The staff panel for the CAD slash MDT is strictly for the departments, the 10 codes, the stores, those types of things, uh, patrol, n all that type of stuff. Unli unlimited customization. Let me fix this really quick. Unlimited customization. Unlimited customization. All right. Oh, it was ultimate. Whatever it is, unlimited here. There. Okay, fixed. Um, unlimited customization. It offers so much customization. You will see when we review it, but it is an insane amount of customization. You can really uh, customize this to your community and your personal preferences by uh, names of everything, logos of everything even the login style we're working on uh chain or customizable tickets we're work or citations tickets warnings arrest reports those types of things we're working on a new customizable home screen uh just primary and secondary colors and accents uh everything we hope to be customizable in the end v5 this has a penal code which is indeed a editable. It has 10 codes which are editable. It has a patrol map, not a live map. None of our CADs have ever offered a live map. They only offer a patrol map. The patrol map, uh, you can put in your own link. So it could be a live map, it could be a patrol map, but it's not like you put in your own server IP and stuff. You put in the link that you want to display. You could make it anything, 
but it is based to be a patrol map. You could put in your live map link if you have your own live map website or uh, API or anything. But we have the panic sound. A lot of cats have this, but most of them don't have an or aren't editable. You can change the sound to a different link if you have one, and you can turn it on and off. So it only displays the banner and not the sound if it's too obnoxious. Same goes for the 10-3 sound. And same for the Signal 100 sound. This cat has a, or this website in all, I guess you could call it, but we're just gonna say cat. This cat offers a global chat where you can chat with anyone from the home screen. Uh, it also offers a light and dark mode toggle. It offers a DMV, firearms, unlimited, Okay, I don't know what's happening here. It's like I was mixing the two words. Okay, it has unlimited Discord integration. It offers a lot of um, a lot of toggles and options to enable and disable Discord integration. You can connect three different channels, logs, other, and moderation. And it's really nice. A lot of our cats have that. It offers a schedule. It offers a bank. It offers Dynasty housing. All of the stores will be edit or are editable by logo and name. It offers Dynasty housing, 24/7 Los Santos Customs, and Emmy Nation. Note all of these are linked to the civilian. Emmy Nation. You have to buy a gun to register one on the CAD. Los Santos Customs, you have to buy a vehicle to register it. These two are more extras that you can buy if you have money or want to. It has an account recovery system where you can, this is for the owner and the owner only. You can put in a uh, unique code that we will give to you and it is not to be shared with anyone else. You can use that code to recover your account using, or to it's more, it's used to, if you use a new email, it will give that new, it will sign up the new account and it will give that new account permissions to the entire CAD. It will give it owner, edit access, it will automatically accept it, it will automatically make everything yes. So be very careful with that and who you give the code to if you choose to. We suggest you keep it personal and if anyone loses their account or a different owner and I don't know, they can't sign up or you're just unavailable, you can sign them up and then give their them their email and password. Just don't give the code, we suggest. Website-wide lockdown system. It is a security feature. You can lock down the CAD with a single toggle and it will lock everything but the index page or the login that you choose or the staff panel to the website. You enable it and disable it in the website staff panel, not the CAD staff panel. The website staff panel isn't locked because you have to be able to access it to turn it back off once you turn it on. The lockdown sound is also changeable with a link. There are three login screen options and we will review all of them. As I said, the owned vehicles is linked to the Los Santos Customs and the owned weapons is linked with ammunition. There are suggested backgrounds, our most popular backgrounds. We have three very clean and fresh looking backgrounds. That is including the original Paradox CAD background as we see here, the red and black. <clears throat> and then there are two others that are very professional and clean looking. There are then another three there are a total of six suggested backgrounds. There are three very clean, sleek, and uh, good fitting ones. And then there are three more that are more uh, on the unique and colorful side, you could say. And then you could also put in your own background if you wish. There's an updated design 
the entire design is constantly being updated. Uh, this time it's for the MDTs and CADs. And premium features will be listed right now. If you have premium, it will get the free CAD to 5M integration, a free basic Discord bot, a free moderation Discord bot, a free announced Discord bot, a free invites Discord bot, a free ticket bot, a free image editor bot, and a free level up bot. You will get all of that for only $5 more a month. That is a very good deal. Our bots range or are $4 each or two for six. If you want the two for six way, it'd be six, 12, or actually that's $4 separately, separately but it'd be six, 12, 18, and then, yeah, you're looking at 22 plus this $4 one, which is the CAD to 5 m integration. So you're looking at $26 worth of bots and plugins while you're only paying five extra dollars a month, which is a very good deal. Request account data. This, you can press a button to send an, an email to your account uh, providing you what uh, departments you are approved as, your account name, Discord name, the email, so on and so forth. The only thing it doesn't show is your password uh, for safety reasons. We added a downtown cab code to this cab. There are events, there's an incident report, and a status changed sound to attached to call sound. These are not editable at this time. But pretty much if dispatch were to change your status or attach you to a call and you're playing in game, you will hear a ding in the background of your game saying you are attached to a call. You can then pull up the CAD and review the call and where you're going. Also, if your status has changed, if your status has changed to any other status, you will also hear a sound. Those are not toggleable or editable as of now. The web application, so the application portion portion is customizable, has infinite departments, or no, the, sorry, this is the, you know what, this is, This is more of a website thing, and these are all needing to be up there. There we go. So on the CAD, it now or it offers a dispatch FTO with a dispatch FTO admin panel, a police FTO with a police FTO admin panel, and our newest addition, a fire FTO with a fire FTO admin panel. V5, we plan on doing an EMS FTO panel with an admin panel. The website overall ult or offers ultimate customization as in about us, logos, names, slideshow, all of that good stuff. It has infinite departments for the application that you can uh, request access on. You can customize them and it has a DM messaging system. You can talk to people and message them, not through the global chat, but through a private messaging system. This is the login. It is best at 75% zoom. I suggest you always use 75% zoom. It looks, this is what it's made to be at. Uh, any farther in looks kind of squashed or too enlarged. Any farther out could just look off or stretched. 75 is definitely what you want to be using it as. The demo login is demo at demo.com. The demo password is demo, all capitals, 19. The link is https colon slash slash paradoxcad v4 demo ns dot bubble apps dot io. With all that out of the way, let's get into this. So when you first go to the CAD with login one enabled, you will be preset on home. This will show the slideshow. You can customize all of these. 
looking at the left side we have mini buttons and at the right top left or <laughs> sorry at the top right corner we have the application status I currently have it turned off and we have the current day month number of the day year and the time at the top left right corner we have your chosen community logo this is changeable if we click info it will show this this is completely customizable about us you can change what this says it's just a preset template so you can use that about us how are we unique why choose us if we click schedule this you can create new events and or not events it's a schedule new uh, I guess you could say events it's not the event thing that we have though create new events and you can delete them through the staff panel for the website if we click messages this is the direct messaging we can go ahead and log in and access it just like this we are now in you can go see the people in the CAD through or in the website with accounts in here you can go to your DMS and you can call people calling this is called logs but it has not been completed yet we are still working that out you can select a conversation and you can send whatever you would like and click the send button to send it to them just click up here this is how you create a new conversation so we're just going to do that new conversation now we have an open conversation you can type in there and he can type back he is not on at this time but you can also favorite him and it will show as a favorite if you click this it will show favorites so this is a favorite if I click that off and do that there are no more favorites at the bottom left of this you can click this button to log out <clears throat> and it'll take us back to here if we click apply you can see the apply slash sign up information it will ask for your name your discord name and number your email your uh, per password of choice and to confirm that password and then you can click finish sign up if application status is open meaning you have applications turned on this will not be visible and it will show the application if we click login we'll be able to log in with our email and password we can also click forgot password and send a password reset to our email. It displays the users in the CAD down here. If we go ahead and click staff panel, we can log in with our email and password to the staff panel. You can also forgot password again as well here. Down here it shows the staff in the system, which are only two. We can then go to account recovery which this is where you're going to use your account recovery password if uh, you are unable to get into your account. You will, instead of login, you're going to choose a new email not registered in the CAD, choose your password, and you're going to input the account recovery code and click recover account. That is it for the login one screen. Let me quickly go to this and we're going to log in to the home screen. When we are logged in to the home screen, you're going to see this. It is a similar design, but a lot more uh, blank and more realistic. We can see announcements, we can see stats, we can see our name at the top left, as well as the community logo. We can see the community name at the top middle, and along the left side, we can see some options. We can see logout, which will take us back to our selected login. We can click chat, which will open up the global chat. This is light mode, this is dark mode. We can click off, we can click account. An account, it is going to show our information to our account. You can change your name, you can change your discord name, you can change your email, 
and as of now you can change your password you can delete your account or you can send account info to your email which is the request account information that is it for the account for FTO whether you have FTO enabled or or not if you have FTO turned off and all this will not be visible if any of the options are turned on this will be visible and here if you will or it will display which ones are turned on if fire FTO is turned off but police and dispatch are on it will show police and dispatch as in or as of currently I have them all turned on we can go to the staff panel which will bring up a staff panel login this is a second way of uh, or a second method of protection that way if someone's staffing you don't want them accessing it you can quickly change that instead of removing their staff this will not be visible on the copy you receive that is there for demo purposes we also have a 1090 and 1093 form you can select whether it's 1090 or 1093 go through the information and submit it we're going to go to the FTO police FTO first okay we are now on the police FTO here you can search for officers you can go back and you can click add officer and add any officers you wish here you will be able to see the officer's name the FTO officer and any other information like the or anything that uh, goes with this goes with the uh, training there's the PT test time you can put anything you wish here and it will automatically save you can also change any of these past in progress failed or not completed these are all changeable now if you have admin permissions to access the FTO or first of all we have our logos on either side we have our community name and we have field police field training officers database this will depend if it's field or if it's police dispatch or fire on the left side we have 10 codes this is a new pop-up this is for training where if you need to know your 10 codes you can click here to view them and go down the list of 10 codes that are in the CAD like so if we click admin it will take us to the admin page for this this is very simple we have the created officers you can delete it once you are done and we also have the database users for FTO this currently shows all users in the CAD not separate FTO users as they are connected you can change their FTO admin or if they are approved to the CAD themselves you can also delete their users now if you're going to give someone FTO ac or admin do make sure you understand that they will also have access to this let's go back and let's go back again if we go to FTO dispatch FTO we are now going to be on the dispatch FTO side you can do the same thing here you can add an officer like so you can change all of this you can view the 10 codes and you can go to admin and edit the same things but for dispatch let me quickly go in and delete the one we just made okay let's go back and let's go back if we click FTO we will now go to fire FTO this one is very similar or all of them are very similar just have different things up here so we can create an officer you can view the 10 codes and you can go to the admin panel just like the others now let's go to patrol if we click patrol we will see our departments this is an infinite list so depending how many departments you have it will just continue going on as it is a infinite department CAD 
let's first go on duty as Civ. Here we can see our civilians that we created, we can see logout, and we can see create civilian. Here you can create a civilian based on whatever information you would like. Let me quickly select my civilian. Now that we are on this, we can edit the driver's license, the fishing license, or the hunting license. We can select the sieve or delete the sieve. These are all statuses of the licenses. We can call 911 with the emergency and location, or we can access ammunition 24 seven, Los Santos Customs or Dynasty Homes, and we are also able to log out. We will see our money at the top left corner. We'll also see the community logo. Let's go to ammunition. This is the ammunition. It shows all of these store pop-ups will show the account money, the logo of the store, and an exit button as well as the shop with the items repeating going down for as many items as you have. Currently I only have a combat pistol on the ammunition store. If we click buy, $500. If you see our money, I currently have a lot. But if we click this, it will go down and it will say purchased. We can click exit and it will now show our registered weapons. It will, give, it will automatically give us a license number for the weapon and it will show us the weapon name. We can delete the firearm. Okay, let's go to the 24-7. Here we have bread for $15. If I buy this, it went down and it said purchased. If we go to exit, we can see purchased items down here at the bottom right. Bread. You can delete it with this symbol or you can leave it. Los Santos Customs, we can buy any cars that are in it and choose any color out of the preset list. We can buy this Audi R8 for $80,000 and we can choose color blue. Once we click buy, it will say purchased, our money will go down. We can exit, it will show our vehicle model. The plate you will have to change and then click this save button and then it will show the color. You can change if it's stolen or found. You can change if it's insured or not. You can also delete the vehicle. We can go to Dynasty Homes and buy this apartment that I have listed for a million dollars in Eclipse Towers. Apartment number seven, if we buy this our money will go down a lot. As it just did, it will say purchased. Now exit, we'll see our purchased houses. Purchased houses and purchased items are nothing but show as of currently. These ones are, however, are connected to the civilian and are viewable in dispatch or the person slash name search in any LEO departments. Let me go ahead and log out. Let me go to patrol and we're going to review the police MDTs. LSPD, SHP, and BCSO are all the same. They look the same. They will only have different names and different logos. So we're going to go on LSPD only for now. We're going to put in our identifier and we're going to click our server we are going on patrol as. Currently there is only one server in this cat, which will be patrol number one. Let me click the button. And now we are on we're we are on duty on the Los Santos Police Department MDT. Here we have a really nice design, sleek, clean, uh, very simple. We will have the panel first off, which will show statistics and the active units. You can click slow sh show slash hide to toggle tow, fire, and LEO on and off from you seeing them. We can click it again to hide it. We can view the name database where we can search civilians and see their information 
such as first name, last name, date of birth, address, sex, hair, race, weight, their driver's license, their registered weapons, as we saw, the combat pistol with the registration number. We can see the civilian's tickets, arrests, and warrants. We can also see suspensions. This is for license suspensions. And we can see registered vehicles as we got the Audi R8 and named the plate demo. And the color and if it's insured. You can click on ticket, arrest, or warrant to view the warrant. Here it will show the date of warrant, time of warrant, the day of week of the warrant, and the date of birth of the civilian. We'll show the civilian's name, we'll show the reason, we'll show the department, and it will show the officer. You can activate the warrant or you can deactivate it, and we can go off the warrant. Up at the top right here of the person database, we can see create a warrant, which will show us the San Andreas District Court. It will auto fill in the name, the print name, and the date. All you have to do here is select the reason for the arrest, and we will type the offense briefly as described down here, and we will submit electronic warrant. Here we can suspend the license. It will show the department logo, the department name, the civilian's name. You have to put the date it is being issued, the time it is being issued, the reason for the license suspension, and how many points are being added. Then you can click suspend and it will create a suspension down here. If we go to plate search, we have the vehicle database. We can search plate demo, which I made is linked to an Audi R8, which is insured, it is not stolen, the color is blue, and it is registered to my civilian. If we go to arrest report, we can fill an arrest form, date of incident, time of incident, the day of the week, and here you can search for the civilian, it will automatically fill out their address and the date of birth. Here you will put the location of the incident, charges, and officer will be you. Sign and submit arrest will complete it. Same goes for citation and written warning just with different inputs. And for incident report. Incident report, it will show your information, the primary officer automatically. You have to put in the incident date, the incident time, and the day of the week. Down here, narrative, this is where you're going to describe the incident. You're going to scroll down. You're going to put the involved officers for, if there are any, a max of five. The incident type will have a drop down of many different incident types, such as robbery, drugs, liquor, quality of life, family offense, fire, etc. Here you can put the primary incident location, the street name, and filing officer when you click this will automatically put your name. Let's go back to panel and this will show our statistics and active units. If we click available, you're going to hear a sign that you change your status. This goes for all of them. As you can see, this is the exit button must go off duty to exit. If we click off duty, it will make a sound and it will allow us to exit and it will take us off duty. We can do a traffic stop. We can go on break. We can set our status to busy. We can go out of service. We can go available. And we can go on duty. We have a panic option here, which is not available when you are off duty. Under that, we have the 
other section. That is the status center above. Below we have the other. When you click patrol map, it will show the link to your patrol map. In this case, this is a live map to a different community. You can change this link, as I said, and connect it to whatever. This is someone else's live map API. We can click events, which will show this events pop up. You can create an event, whether it's emergency or a non-emergency. You can put the street name, the postal, the city slash town, subject, department, the description, the full name of the reporting person, the person description, and you can choose to either add a vehicle or remove a vehicle, whether it involves a vehicle or not, if applicable. If you do decide to add a vehicle, you can choose the color, the make, and the plate. When you add an event, it will add it here, displaying all of this information, as well as whether it's emergency or a non-emergency. We can click cancel to close it. We can now go to penal code, which will show your penal code, which as I said, the link is changeable, and you can connect it here. We can view the 10 codes, which will be a group showing the repeating 10 codes. We can view the bolos, if there are any, here. We can submit a 1090 or 1093 form here. We can open the notepad and we can view instant reports that are submitted down there. That is it for the police MDTs. And when you're attached to a call, it will show the call information and hide this automatically. Let me click exit and it will take us off duty and back home. We go patrol. Next, we are going to review the Los Santos Fire Department. We are going to put in our identifier and select the server again. Here will be a similar design, but not quite the same. We'll have your statuses at the top instead of the side, and it will start off by showing you the live or the patrol map you have chosen. You can do available in quarters with a sound and route to station. You know, all of these do have sounds as well. En route to call, arrived at call, or en route to hospital. You can also go out of service, and as you can see, you cannot exit without going out of service. So when we click out of service, we can now see the exit button. Here you can select what station you are at or area. On the side we have other, we can view the patrol map, events, events has a notepad built in, we can view the penal code, we can view the 10 codes, we can open up the notepad, we can view the medical or go onto the medical examiner and submit a death, you can create an instant report here and you can view instant reports. You also have a panic button. You can see the department name and the department logo at the top left and at the top right you will see your name, the department, the server you are in, the AOP, your current status, and the status is set by whoever. You click exit. Now we are going to review dispatch. We're going to put in our identifier and click our server we wish to go in. Once we are in, we have a similar design, but also very different. When we first get in, we will see open calls, on duty units, and active bolos. You can generate a bolo and you can create a call. You can click name search to search for people's names and users as so. You can do the same for plate search and search plates and what vehicles they are registered to. As you see again, it says must go off duty to exit. All of these have sounds as well. 
once you go off duty, you can exit. You can go available, busy. You can open the 911 caller, which will show 911 calls, as well as you can generate your own 911 call. You can activate 103 or signal 100. As so. On other, you can see a patrol map, which will be your map. You can see events. You can see penal code. You can see 10 codes. You can open them up in a notepad. And you can view instant reports. Here, you can set the AOP to State, Blaine County, Sandy, Grapeseed Harmony, or Los Santos. At the top left, it will show your community name or your de department name and your department logo. It will show your name at the top, and on your top right, it will show your active server and your current status. If we go back to panel, you can set status of these people. Now, if you change someone's status, it will sound it will give them a sound so they know that their status has been changed by someone else. And it does the same for attached call. If you attach them to a call, it will set, give them a sound so they know they have been attached to a call. And that is it for dispatch. Go off duty and then exit. Now let's go patrol and let's review tow. We're going to go on our, our identifier and patrol our server. Here it says, please wait to be attached to a call. Feel free to drive around or pull over and watch some Netflix while you wait. Once you are attached to a call, you will get a sound and you will be able to go on route and complete the call as well as view a map. Let's log out. It is the same design for Downtown Cabco, but as in Downtown Cabco. Let's go to the staff panel and let's use access code demo19 to go to staff panel. Here will be, if you access the staff panel from the CAD homepage, it will take you to the CAD staff panel. If you're an owner, at the top right, you can see a go to website staff panel, and when you're on the website staff panel, you can see a go to CAD slash MDT staff panel. Let's start on the website staff panel. If we click system, we can change server name, server abbreviation, community logo, the lockdown sound, whether applications are on or off, view all applications approved and pending. You can select them to pending or approve them all. And you can enable or disable website lockdown. Here you can edit the new login. You can choose login one, login two, or login three. I personally enjoy login one the best. If we click edit users, we can see a list of approved users. We can search and if their name is green, it will mean they are approved. If it is yellow, they will not be approved. And if it is blue, they are staff. If we click on the person's name, you can edit their name, their email, or you can edit their email. You can edit their name. You can delete their account. You can choose if they're approved or not. You can edit, give them edit users access. You can make them website staff or not. Note, there is a difference between website staff and CAD slash MDT staff. Website staff will give them access to the website staff panel. CAD slash MDT staff will give them access to the CAD slash MDT. And you can give them owner. You can only give someone owner if you are owner. This will not be visible if you are an owner. You can go to the site and you can change the slideshow images as well as the community bio where it said about us, how are we unique, and why choose us. You can edit the schedule and add things, the subject, the description, an image if chosen, and the date if you want a date. And you can create it. We then have application which you can edit all the questions if it is turned on and you can view all applications if it is turned on as well. If we click background, we will see the suggested, suggested login screen backgrounds. To see background after updating, refresh page on home screen. What that means is once you click 
All you have to do to s select one of these six backgrounds are to you just click it and it will change the background for you. Or you can select your custom background and upload it here and click save. So there's the original well-known background. There is the Matrix Solutions uh, green styled background and there is the blue and gray background. These are all fit and look amazing as a background. <coughs> background four, five, six, as I said, are more colorful and exotic. This one we have a very uh, geometric, colorful purple sunrise or sunset. This one we have some sort of chemical explosion. And this one we have a storm above the clouds in the galaxy. As I said, all you have to do is click it to change it. Once you go to the home screen, it may be a white background. All you have to do is refresh it. Let me click go to CAD slash MDT staff panel. If we click system, we will see many, many options. This will be organized in V5, I can guarantee you. But in here, we will see auto approve. If they sign up, you, you can have that on, or if they uh, sign up for the CAD, it will automatically approve them and they will be able to go in automatically, not to any departments, but they will be able to enter the main home screen of the CAD. Here you can edit FTO, enable or disable in all. You can edit police, dispatch, or FTO if you would like to enable or disable them. Here you can create servers with the server name, the server number, and the server IP. You can also delete them. Here you can edit the signal 100 sound, and you can click this to copy the default, put it here, and save it. Same goes for 10-3 sound, panic button sound. Down here we have staff access code. This will be the access code on the home page where we saw use access code demo 19, where that won't be there. You can change that staff access code. Here you can change your penal code URL. Here you can change your patrol map URL. Here you can change your Discord link URL and your website link URL. Here you can edit the store logos and the store names. And down here you can turn on and off panic, 10.3, or signal 100 sounds. If we go to edit users, we'll be able to click the name, color code goes for the same, but here we will give them, be able to give them more access to things like supervisor, access requests, FTO admin, and CAD slash MDT staff. You can also click these to approve them and deny them. They are currently disabled, but if you were to click it when it's green, it will go red, meaning they are not approved, and same as if they were red and you click it to make it green, it would be approved. Currently, I am approved for all. If we go to requests, you can see access requests. If we go to departments, we can delete current departments. We can change department names, abbreviations, or logos, and we can create new departments based off of a dispatch, an LEO, a fire, a tow, or a civ department. We can go to the 10 codes, or the codes, and we can create new codes, whether it's a 10 code or a signal code. And here you can edit it by changing this, clicking save, as well as over here, or you can click this to delete them. If we go to save search, this will display all of the civilians registered in the CAD. If we go to store, this you will be able to add items and delete items for the 24-7 the Los Santos Customs, the Dynasty Housing, and the Ammunition. You will also be able to toggle the store on and off. If we go to Bank, you can toggle people's money, such as, or you can add money, you can reset the money to zero, or you can subtract money for whatever is in the amount. If we go to Announce, you can put your announcement in and set Announcement, Discord Integration, we can configure the Discord ID and token for these three different things. We have an other channel, a log channel, and a moderation channel. Here you can turn on whatever logs you would want. There's a global, there's 911, deny, approve, staff login, 
department login, logout, login, and request access logs for all of that. If we go to downloads, this will be an option if you buy premium, backend, or reseller. These are the premium things. We have the bots that were lifted, the basic bot, moderation bot, announce bot, invites bot, ticket bot, image editor bot, and level up bot. We then have other for the CAS slash MDT to FIVM integration. If we go down to 1090 to 1093, we can view a repeating group of uh, 1090 to 1093 forms. If we go back to the website staff panel and click a logout, it will take us back to the login page, whether you have login one, two, or three enabled. That is everything our Paradox CAD V4 offers. And I would have to say that is a lot of free stuff if you choose premium and just a lot of uh, customizability and options and uh, could make for an amazing and very fun roleplay experience for only $10 a month or $15 monthly for premium if you want those bots and CAD integration. Backend is again $80 UFD one time and reseller of 200 UFD one time. If you have any ideas to work out a reseller, we can negotiate on the price and we can work something out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. You can join our Discord in the description below as well as view the demo account and the link in the description below if you would like to test it yourself. If you watched through this whole tutorial, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed.